And this week's Pokemon is Better Buddies. Cause we're living, living in the moment, the moment. So don't look back, it's a long, long road ahead. A long, long road ahead. Hello, and welcome back to Better Buddies. I'm your host, RJ. With us this week, we've got returning for an odd numbered episode alex howdy there y'all it's been a while <laughs> i think it's been like 40 episodes <laughs> oh man it has been that long last time i was on with was with uh skylar yeah that was a good one that's a fun one it's a fun one check out episode 33 <laughs> <laughs> it might be you know the Probably crazy thing? i think that might be the episode check out episode 33 to hear this lovely voice one last time <laughs> and uh we also have john hello coming back since like a month ago yeah a couple episodes yeah i don't know i think <laughs> the last episode i was on was the uh, zignab one. Oh, Bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> Praise be. Bazinga backwards. That one was a trip. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a little weird with that one. Uh, our Better Buddies icebreaker this week. What is the first anime you watched? And right, so I, I, I saw this question. Yeah. Um, and I was really, I was, I was like, is it when I was a child? Or what is the first anime I consider I watched that I was like, this is anime. I'm, I'm going to go with anime. that you considered this is anime because otherwise my answer would be Pokemon. And I think all of us would have to say Pokemon. I mean, I'm down to go mm. the po- down the Pokemon anime rabbit hole. Like, we could do this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Are you not willing to do that? Are you I, not? I mean, we <laughs> Do we really just want to do a deep dive into the Pokemon anime right now? Come Ash saw Ho Ho when it was in Kanto. Dude, my mind like... was blown when I was three years old. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Big Bird and I said, I want Big Bird. I want Big Rainbow Bird. <laughs> Big Rainbow Bird, so cool. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, one of those things that I never understood, no matter how much like it tried to make sense, was why Brock had a Vulpix. Like, I get it, he was going for the Pokemon Breeder thing, but I, I just, like, No, why? he got that, did you not see the episode when he got the Vulpix? No. No, he was, like, trying to hook up with, like, a ghost girl, uh, like a <laughs> Ninetales, and the, it was, like, a Ninetales that's transformed into, a, like, a woman. What? And then, yeah, 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 so he got a Vulpix out of it. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. It's like, I need to watch the Pokemon anime again. <laughs> I, I love Brock, I'm, I'm a Brock stan. Best character. <laughs> Give me those jelly jo- donuts. Um, oh, heck yeah, jelly them jelly donuts. donuts. <laughs> Definitely not rice balls. <laughs> they have jelly filling, guys. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, sure. They were, the four, uh, kids four kids wouldn't lie to me. Four kids wouldn't lie to me, damn it. I'm not sure about you, John, but you know you know the One Piece intro, right? No. Oh my god, no. dude. I, I've never watched the One Piece. But the One Piece intro for four kids, definitely worth a listen to. It is so bad. And it's so gold. I'm trying to remember, isn't it like, just like super intense yelling song with like flashes of people standing on islands? Yeah, I think so, but like it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's so bad, it is funny. Oh, gosh. Any hoozles. I guess to get this topic back on track here. Um, um we've been talking about anime this whole time. <laughs> uh, so, first anime. Does anyone want to start here? I mean, it, I'm gonna, I guess I'll start to, like, get mine out of the way. Because the first one that I consider as having, like, really been anime that, like, was anime was Bacano? I think it's called Bakano. Bakano, yeah, with like Bakugan? a time period. <laughs> no, not Bakugan. Bakugan Battle Brawlers. <laughs> Go Dragonoid. <laughs> I just remember watching it on my 3DS, 
And oh. uh, it was... You like on your 3DS? Well, internet connection. YouTube oh. app, maybe. Just went on the internet and... Oh. Because I have an internet browser. You just, yeah, I just looked it up. Um, but yeah, like, I, and I remember getting introduced to it and being told, like, oh, yeah, this is going to be confusing because it cuts between different time periods. And I was like, okay. And I was expecting to be w- make no sense whatsoever. And as I was watching, I was like, oh, no, this makes a lot of sense. This is really cool. This is fun. They're in the, the boat uh, in the past, and now they're gangsters in the Roaring Twenties. And now they're in the modern day and have no idea, like, and it, they're immortal and it's fun. What is this show about? I've never actually heard of it. Um... It's about God. How do I how do I explain this? Um, so a group of people are immortals uh, through a demon ritual. In the Roaring Twenties, they great they like integrate themselves into the mob scene and alcohol running. And a couple people who, like, aren't immortal get involved because of the whole, like, violence around that enterprise. hmm And it goes from there. I got the, the IMBD plot summary here. Uh, you ready for this one? <laughs> sure. <Hit me. laughs> <laughs> in the year 1711, a group of alchemists are granted an elixir of immortality with the stipulation that they must kill each other until there can be only one. The now immortal group uh, you know, emphasize it, is it wasn't worth it and destroys the elixir, but when, uh, one of them, Slizard Quats, starts to kill one of his fellow immortals. To reduce the risk of Quats tracking them all down, the group separates and goes their separates. Near then crosses back until the 1930s, and then basically they just like start going through time periods like rj said so and kill each other mm-hmm. oh oh <laughs> that's yeah, not I, comfy <laughs> i've never seen bach no. um it's one that i wanted to watch actually i mean i recommend it sounds I'm, interesting i'm shocked that's like your first anime i i never guessed bach no. never yeah i It's not like I've watched a ton, but, like, it was really one of those... I'm trying to remember. I think the reason I got into it was, um, our friend from high school, Stella, um, told... Was like, oh, you'll really like these two comic relief characters. They're goofy because they don't understand things. Because they, like, they're Bonnie and Clyde, but they don't pay attention to stuff and don't really get it. And they're not with it. And will steal things for random... For, like reasons that make sense to them, but no reasonable person would, like, agree to, because it's a crazy idea. And I was like, okay, I'll watch that. Hmm. Sounds interesting. It was also only, like, ten episodes or something. Sixteen. Eh, whatever. Hey. Am I still doing one that Google things on the show? Thirteen, actually. <laughs> uh, Calvin, Calvin does sometimes. Calvin, Calvin does? Like, yeah. I, I always have Google open when I'm on here. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's 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 very nice. I oh, did Google the One Piece one before, but I uh, didn't want to watch it while people were talking. I just yeah. don't have Google open because uh, trying to, like, pay attention and not uh, do the clickety-clack through my own uh, microphone. Yeah, click. Click, click. Click, click, click. Click. Clack. <laughs> but yeah, that's my that's my anime. Who would like to? Uh, what else? What do you guys got? Yeah, um, I can I can take the floor here. So, the first anime I ever watched, and I always find this this one's really weird. It's an anime called uh, Baka to Test. Okay. Have you ever heard of that? No. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so Baka the Test of. Um, I haven't seen this in years, and I would not recommend it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, from what I remember of it, um, I have it open right now, but I, I like I'm reading this, and it just does not put any memories in it. Uh, basically, my friend Riley, I was like, I don't want to watch anime ever when I was like a sophomore in high school. He's like, I'm not a nerd. I was like, cartoons are lame. As I went home and watched. Uh, Beyblade and Bakugan (laughs) (laughs) not realizing that they were anime Uh, but he was like well this one's he was like he's like oh I watched this episode you should I think you would really enjoy it it's about a high school where they summon little avatars to fight each other and I said that sounds like Pokemon 
<laughs> so I, I, I watched it. Uh, come to find out, um, and this is where I found out I'm really in the harems. Uh, this is a harem. <laughs> and uh, basically, it's a really shitty harem. Not great. Uh, I, it, I feel the need to specify that harem is a genre of anime. Yeah, a harem, as, as I was about to explain here, is I'm a, really into harems, you know? <laughs> I, 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 I do enjoy harem, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, is basically, you have one guy, and there are like five girls that just want to date, Jump him. per se. <laughs> date. Date the one guy uh, in, the, in the nicest way possible. Date. Um, <laughs> but, so yeah, this turned into a harem. And it's really trashy. So after like the first two episodes of them actually doing like these little cool avatar battles, um, they don't do any anymore. What? They just have like these little mini avatars of them like following each other. Um, I don't think there's a premise to the show. I really don't. Uh, I think <laughs> I, <laughs> I think it was like the two episodes, and then because that's what I remember. Again, I watched this like eight years ago now. Yeah. Um. So it was like it was like two episodes of them fighting, and then I just remember all all the girls like like there was some like fan service scenes, and then all the girls just wanted to get with the main character, and then all the guys were like, "Oh no, well, you don't want you you are lame though. Why don't they want to get with me?" Like you know, normal harem harem stuff. Uh, oh yeah, there's two seasons though, but some for some reason I really resonated with this. I said, "This is fun." <laughs> And that's how I became a degenerate and watched the second season of Bach at the Test uh, because it was, uh, the second season is absolute dog trash too. That doesn't have a plot at all. They go to a beach and that's it. <laughs> all 12 episodes are them at a beach. Good. Well, um, you know, every, se- every season has to have a beach episode. This one just happens to have all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it was like eight of them were like at the beach, and then four of them was like a haunted house because they okay. had to run it for their school festival, you know. Good. Um, but yeah, so the Baku detest. I do not recommend it. Um, absolute trash. Mel has it rated as a seven though, so it can't be that bad. It um, could. I wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> I would not. Um. Yeah, that was that was my first anime, and now I am degenerate trash. So, nice. Okay, we can we can accept it. <laughs> John, what about you? Um, well, if we're counting when we're a kid, it was definitely either Pokemon or like Yu Gi Oh GX. Only oh, GX, yeah. Though. But only GX. Yeah, I haven't seen the classic Yu Gi Oh series yet. You missed out on Kaiba, dude. Oh, Kaiba is a legend. Kaiba. I've only seen Yu Gi Oh abridged. <laughs> But, like, in my time as a conscious human being, you know, like, past the age of 15, um, <laughs> uh, my first one was probably Attack, of T- Attack on Titan, which I started watching sophomore year of college. And which is now finishing this weekend, maybe. Maybe. What they say mean? it's, like, the finale, but there's, like, so much to happen yet. So oh. I think there might be a part two of the season, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> They're not very forthcoming on information. But yeah, it's good. Brutal. Very, very brutal, but good. Oh, yeah. I've only seen episode one. Uh, It was brutal. And I watched it uh, subbed, which was a mistake. I'm a dub person. And I got through Dr. Stone subbed because I had to, and it was okay. But I'm still a dub person. And I just made fun of Attack on Titan the entire time because I could read the subtitles faster than the action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The dubbing is actually really good for AOT, for what I understand. I have never seen it, uh, but it's Funimation, and Funimation doesn't really put out low quality subs anymore. I mean, dubs anymore. So it's like it'll be mediocre at best. <laughs> I've been uh, watching them as they come out these last two seasons, so I've had to watch them subbed. But the I watched season two dubbed and it was pretty good. That's good. What else have you yeah, seen, yeah. John? I know you watched Nar- some Naruto. Yeah, I'm like three hundred episodes into Naruto. Three hundred? Uh, when did you start? Um, this year sometime. Ooh, that's probably middle of January. 
<laughs> Usually people take that One Piece dive first before the Naruto dive. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's 220 in the first series, and then there's 500 in the second series, and I'm just at the end of the second season of the second series. Are you skipping filler? Not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> that is... skipped, I've skipped one episode. <laughs> Wow, there's so much filler in that show. It's crazy. <laughs> Way to power through, considering you started yeah. in January. Yeah, it was probably not very healthy. <laughs> oh, it's really <laughs> March. I, I, some reason I had like it's been half a year. I was like, you know, that's not. That, so that's that, that. I was like, that's impressive. And I was like, now it's only been three months. That's that's even more impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see what else is there. I watched the first episode of My Hero and did not keep watching. Mm. Um. I watched most of Violet Evergarden, but I didn't finish that easy either. Oh, I watched um, uh, Evangelion. Oh, that was uh, that I was an it. experience. I think, it's bad. I think it's so bad. I think it's one of the worst animes. Oh my god, I think it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know how I feel about it. I was like into it until the last couple episodes, and then I was lost. <laughs> So oh, yeah, a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Still like him. Good. Yeah, that's it so far. I want to do probably Full Metal Alchemist eventually, but oh, I, I gotta watched, get through Naruto first. <laughs> I watched one of the Full Metal Alchemist ones. I don't remember which one. I think it was the one that deviated from books. Brotherhood. Yeah. Like the whole thing. I think. It's a lot of apps. Oh, that's I think it's a, a lot. lot of that. Maybe that's it was the other movie. one that was closer to the books. I genuinely don't remember. Brotherhood's the closer to the books. Um because they oh, had okay. they caught up to the books in the original. So they had the shoehorn ending to end the whole thing. So like the ending's not canon from what I understand. I think that might be the one I did. Um, How many episodes are there? I don't know. And then John, you should watch Doctor Stone. Or What is Doctor Stone about? Uh it is Dr. Stone, right? Does anybody anybody here know enough to correct uh, me? I cannot confirm or Stone. deny. Okay. Yeah, it's not I haven't no, it's seen gone. it yet, but it is. Uh, Dr. Stone premise is Green Flash goes over the entire planet, turns everybody to statues. Thousands of years pass, and this one kid wakes up, and it just so happens he's a total science nerd. And, like, oh. he got lucky that his... The right, like, chemicals, he like, a cave had formed around him and bats and stuff, so, like, the right chemicals dripped on him to, like, free him and undo the transformation. And now he's, like, rebuilding the world through science. Gotcha. <laughs> science. I just think science. about the, the 80s song. <laughs> science. <laughs> the thing that sold it on me, Eli recommended it to me, and the thing that really sold me on it was that it's all scientifically accurate. To the degree where, at least for the manga, they had to put disclaimers in there saying, like, hey, we're not liable if you use any of these recipes because these are authentic recipes for weapons. Did Eli oh. read the manga? Yeah. yeah, he did. Okay. Um, I'm Googling it, and it apparently it dropped nine hours ago that it's going to get a sequel. Yeah. So, cool. Uh, season two's coming soon, and then, yeah, like you said, the se- or. They've got a, like, another, like, series that's going to be, uh, because his dad was on the International Space Station. Mm. And so it's, like, his dad and they're trying to escape that when they're up on the space and everybody else is down on Earth. Oh, yeah. That would be not good. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, What do you watch it on? Funimation? Um. Crunchyroll? Uh, oh god, what's the... I have to look it up. Because I don't use... I mean, technically yes, but also no. Um, (laughs) Yes, but illegally. (laughs) It's on Funimation. uh, And I think it's also on Crunchy. Okay. They mainly use Hulu for stuff. It might be on Hulu too, but... I will. Uh, Wasn't Sony trying to buy Hulu as well? I feel like they were. I don't know. Oh, God, oh, I also I watched a... uh, One Punch Man, now that I'm looking at Hulu. Oh, that's what it, it was. Uh... It's not on Hulu. Season 2 is already out, RJ, for Dr. Stone. Oh, is it? Yeah, it, well, it's, it's it finishes next week. 
Uh, or I have been using Verve, VRV. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. That's Crunchyroll as well. Um, I think they were partnered with Crunchyroll and Funimation. They might not be anymore. I could be wrong. It's everywhere. Like, Dr. Stone is everywhere. <laughs> Except for Hulu, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah. Verve is free. Really? With yeah. ads? Yeah. With ads, yeah. Okay. But it wasn't too bad. Gotcha, gotcha. It's first you watch Dr. Stone over My Hero. Like, um, not, yeah, I keep meaning to watch My, My Hero, Hero, and I, like, I just haven't. <laughs> haven't? <laughs> yep. Yeah, <that's laughs> I <weird>. understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, this is like the anime for RJ, though. Like, I'm not sure about you, John, but like. Oh, John this... knows. Oh yeah, he would yeah. probably like it actually. Quite, yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> um, like literally, uh, the only reason I even watched Doctor Stone was, uh, so when I was working the same place you are, Alex, I was yeah. living with my uncle, and all I had with me were my phone and my tablet for entertainment. And my tablet had Verve, and I might have had my laptop, too. And I was scrolling through stuff to watch on Verve, and Dr. Stone was there. And I was like, Eli told me I should watch this. I guess I'll try it, because it's here, and, like, in front of me right now. And then he was hooked. Yep. It's anime in a nutshell. <laughs> I love anime. I absolutely love anime. I finished, Good. I finished a series recently. Which one? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Will I regret this question? It's called Quintessential Quintuplets. What? <laughs> you want to take a guess? Don't look it up. Take hang a guess. On, on. Without We're... looking it up... Uh, Quintessential going... Quintuplets. That is what it's called. Going off of the other please, set of quintuplets I'm aware of... Please tell me it's not a harem. <laughs> I'm waiting for guesses. I'm waiting for guesses. <laughs> so, I'm guessing they're all psychic. Uh, ident- like quint- identical quintuplets because the only other set of quintuplets I'm aware of as obscure fiction is in Marvel Comics X-Men, the Stepford Cuckoos were a set of psychic quintuplet clones of Emma Frost. Uh, and that sentence means nothing to anybody who has no idea Whoa. about the X-Men. <laughs> I have no clue. Absolutely yeah. zero. But five psychic cl- psychic clones of each other so i'm guessing the quint- the quintessential quintuplets are five clones with psychic abilities that all look identical and are essential to the preservation of reality due to their psychic brain power <laughs> you're going to be so disappointed <laughs> you're very am i John, John, you got to guess um i think they're just five siblings and it's a harem <laughs> I mean, okay. if you take a picture in the look at the picture in the chat, you're right, John. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, no, it's it's actually really wholesome. Um, so so the premise of the show this is actually really good. Um, if you're into um, I guess this is more so like it's weird. It's a harem, but I would say this is like more so for girls. Like I'm not gonna lie. Um, I guess it could be for guys. Like it, it, like I guess there's some fan service in it. So, but yeah, like uh. Basically, the one guy, obviously the main character, uh, he's like, his family is poor, and these quintuplets move to school. They, he doesn't know they're quintuplets in the first episode, obviously. Because they don't look, this, like, they look the same, but they don't. Um, because they have all different hairstyles and accessories, so, like, they are all make sure they look different. Um, but, basically, he gets offered the tutor, because their family's rich, offered a tutor one of them, right? Yeah. And so he goes and goes to the house and basically there's a big mess about it but he goes there and he figures out that they're all quintuplets and he's actually going to have to tutor all five of them what and in in stereotypical harem plot all of them are bad at they're only good at one subject each oh good (laughs) so yes to so each of them are good at like one's good at math one's good at science but they're still really bad at school and they Hang don't on. want to study. There is a much easier solution to their problem than a tutor. They just yeah, have it, to it, all get the same haircut and same clothing, and then on days when there's tests, they all trade classes. They so, have different hair colors. <laughs> no, okay, they have the different hair colors for, what's it called? Um, Just so you know which one's which, right? Like, yeah. 
It's uh, for anime purposes. Otherwise, okay. it is they're all the same hair color. In the manga, it's just gray, right? Like, so you would not. You're like, you would, you, I read the manga all the way through because I wanted to know because it ends. It ends like it, it's almost ended, but like I needed. I need to know how it ended because the start of the show shows that he gets married to one of them. <laughs> Good. So like the show mm. opens with being like, the, which one does he marry? <gasps> Um, dun, 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 dun. it's actually really good it's really funny um it is not that degenerate believe it or not it That's really good. isn't um it's very wholesome uh it's it's really nice and it's very enjoyable uh i do recommend it uh, that one that that is a harem i recommend well speaking of but, recommendations oh yeah uh, it's time for our next uh, segment better buddies recommend where we recommend a piece of media to enjoy Alex, do you want to make that your recommendation? Uh, I mean, I could. I don't know. Do you want uh, to recommend something else? Well, I can recommend something else, actually. But, well, I can, I'll think about it. Let me think, about, right. it. Let me think about it. Oh, God. What you got? Um, oh, you right. Got, that's what I was going to recommend. Uh, uh, so, I don't think I've... This doesn't count, because I, I, uh, I haven't officially recommended this one yet. I recommend Captain America's uh, Winter Soldier. I rewatched that this past weekend. And Heck forgot yeah. how uh, how fun it was. Still holds oh, up, right? It's oh. my favorite Marvel movie. It absolutely holds up. And, like, it is... I mean, you heard John, it's his favorite Marvel movie. Like, by, by a long shot. <laughs> um, and I'd forgotten, like, how much... It, how much that one gets to me because one of the one of the scenes that gets to me a lot in the whole one of this in the whole of Marvel it has one of the scenes that gets to me the most after Captain America gets on the intercom and tells all of Shield like hey you've been infiltrated by Hydra anybody could be a bad person I don't care if nobody else stands up against them I'm doing the right thing don't let those don't let the helicarriers launch and everybody's like kind of tense and watching each other. And the clearly evil villain minion, like, walks up to the nerd at the desk and is like, hey, launch those helicarriers with a gun to the back of the nerd's head. And the nerd's just like, no, Captain's orders. <laughs> Ugh. Gives you chills. It gives me chills. It makes me happy of that, like, yeah, internal strength. <clears throat> that, and they introduce the Falcon, who is just a fun character. Uh, and I'm reserving... Falcon and the Winter Soldier for a future date after I've seen a couple more episodes. Because I watched episode one. Real good stuff, but I want to see how it develops because the first episode was a lot of, uh, like, establishing where the two individual main characters are rather than having them together. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't watched WandaVision or any of uh, Captain Falcon and the Winter Soldier yet. <laughs> Captain, Captain Falcon. Falcon. Captain Falcon. <laughs> Falcon? <laughs> <Winter Soldier. laughs> How would that work? Lucky <laughs> for Smash. <laughs> well, they they uh they got time travel and interdimensional portals and stuff. Captain Falcon just gets dropped in Marvel, and but it's the Smash Falcon, so he only walks like side to side. <laughs> he goes up to Thanos and says, "Show me your moves." Show me your moves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we need a Super Bracket Bros, Captain Falcon versus Captain America. <laughs> oh, God. Make it happen. Make it happen, <laughs> Eli and Jay. You're Make assuming they listen happen. to the show? Why would you, like, you just, you, you don't, you don't say they don't, you just assume they do, right? Like Fair. It's tag them with a timestamp. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give them an idea. Oh. Psst. Psst, what? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> but keep it all along with the bit. Don't worry about me. Keep going. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, I would recommend, John, I would recommend trying at least, like, the first episode of WandaVision because it is different from anything Marvel's done before for both good and bad. Okay. Um, it's... Uh, as the series progresses, it eventually goes back to the, like, usual Marvel... Lights and sirens and fist fight and what have you, but the fir the most of it is di they tried something new. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch it, but uh, if I if I may segue into my media recommendation, you may here. Um, 
I've been busy reading, actually. Um, my old roommate turned me on to the Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson. And I've been kind of uh, absorbed oh. in those books. I'm halfway through the second one already. It's been like less than a month. They are very long books, too. I, I see my doom coming. Where are it's they about? Um, it's kind of like kind of high fantasy, but there's not really elves or anything. Um, they're, so they live on this big continent and, um, there, there's this war against a group called the Parshendi. Um, six years before the events of the book, they had the king of one of the major kingdoms assassinated. So the focus has been on like a, a war between the kingdom and them. And now it's just like, doom is coming and certain individuals have been like chosen to rise against it and it follows their stories so far but he like he does a ton of world building himself and it's super interesting <laughs> it's very detailed yeah calvin's talked about it on prior episodes and sanderson in particular and always the world like the two two big things the world building and the magic systems yes we haven't I, they like drip feed you the magic system so far is it dense like is it a very dense read or is it like um, is it easy like like scale one to ten i would say like one being the least dense ten being like oh my god you will be drowning in words oh well, probably like a three it's it's very okay. accessible um, cool this one down. This but yeah really cool. if you have time first book's like a thousand two hundred pages ah it's nothing and the next one's like a thousand one hundred pages. See, it gets easier. <laughs> say, my, say. my my only complaint about it, and maybe I shouldn't say this because it's kind of spoily, but at the end he like drops a lot of shock value stuff, so he'll mm. read the next book. There's yeah. just like a lot of payoff without the setup at the end of the book, you know? Okay. But. Yeah, I get that. Other than that, like, fantastic so far. Yeah. Very good. Cool deal. Great to hear. All right, I, I got mine. Um, I think I've recently recommended a game from this series on one of these episodes. Um, But I am now just going to recommend the whole series. Specifically, now, my currently, my number one game of all time. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... uh. The Trails of series, um, and this one is called Zero No Kiseki. Or no, this one's Ao No Kiseki is the one that I want to recommend, but you have to play Zero first. So I guess I'll recommend Zero because it's a buy. Like it's it's a first and a sequel. Like, right? Like you have to play those two in order yeah. to get the full story. Yeah. Um otherwise it's like you kinda like finish the first one, you're just like, hmm, that was interesting, but there's obviously more built up, like a lot of things build up in the first game that go on to the second game, but um, yeah, I think I originally recommended the Trails of Cold Steel series, but come to find out, I really enjoy the the Crossbell arc of this series. But basically, um, to explain this, again, it's, it's basically a video game series that is all about world building, and characters change dialogue every time a major event happens. Every NPC changes their dialogue. Each NPC has, like, a story. It feels like it's a world that you're, you're lived in, like, right? Like, you're living in this world while playing this JRPG. Um, the cool thing about the... They're called the Crossbell games, is that they only they take place only in one city. So hmm. it's called Crossbell. The city is named Crossbell. And you are a detective um, in the police force. But they build... Basically, the way the game starts is that uh, everyone's like, hey, we hate the police. We'd rather go to... Uh, follow this thing called the bracer guild which is like basically just uh citizens helping citizens that's like that's the idea behind it well the cops all about enforcing the law so since they're the cops are in bad favor they're like well let's just copy the bracer guild so we can get better favor right while we can still do the jobs so the whole first game is literally about your little squad being everyone being like you're just copying the bracers get out of here we don't need you like proving themselves even though like the police department's like you're only here to make us look better so do that like that is your job <laughs> yeah. like you're not important and uh the whole game builds up uh the characters in it 
fantastic. I think it's some of the best writing I've ever personally read in a video game. Um, I cried a lot during the series, and the characters in there are just so in depth. A lot of epic things, like the proportion, like a lot of good twists um, in in the game. Uh, it's definitely worth worth picking up. It has become my favorite game of all time, probably. Um, and I, I've recently finished the whole series. There's like nine games to it. 260 hours 280 hours because they're jrpgs um i don't each do that total total, total. <laughs> okay. Imagine 280 each. Like, they're like oh. it, go, it ranges from like 40 to 60 um but 40 hours i would say was my average play time per in nine games so i guess that's probably 360 about then give or take but um and what system is this available on okay so this one is on your computer okay so because i remember is... you, i remember when you recommended the cold steel one Yep. Mm -hmm. This one is on your computer. Uh, and then if you're interested to start the series from the beginning, it, the first game is called Trails in the Sky, and that one can be found on Steam. Crossbell cannot be found on Steam. You have to buy it through a Japanese website. <laughs> mm. And then, yeah, because it's not released in America, which is very sad, but it is so worth it. It's like $10. It oh, is that's so good. worth it. Yeah, yeah it's, so, it, it's so worth it. Um, on, it is it just dumbfounded me when I played that game. I, I played it. So when I was grinding through these games, I was taking like a week or two at a time to beat one because I was just going in. But when I got to this arc, I think it took me a week total to beat both the games. And I think I put in 50 hours in one of them and then 60 into the other one. Wow. Yeah. I was just like, I would get off of work and just sit down and then be glued to my TV for like, from like four to like, midnight to one for like the week like straight and then wake up and play before work and then it's very unhealthy but <laughs> god damn was that a ride and a half that is so good i would recommend it um it is trails of trails of zero that is that is way to look it up awesome solid recommendations this week all around our next segment how to be a better buddy where we give some real and some humorous advice. Uh, our first question this week. Just lost my best friend. What should I do? This is a, this is a heavy one, RJ. <laughs> yeah, I was like... <laughs> I only included it so I could make the joke of maybe you should go find them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, That's awful. No. That's awful. <laughs> uh... But you're laughing. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I laugh at anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, but no, yes. Uh, in a more serious note, give yourself time to grieve. This the you this is a terrible thing that has happened to you. It is okay to take the time you need. I I, I would say reflect. Um, ask yourself: Was it your fault? More than likely, it was. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Was it, no? You have to reflect on it. You lost your best friend. Was it your fault? That is a real question, right? And if I'm going to say your probably fault, nine times out of ten, not your fault. Probably not if your fault. If it's not your fault, then grieve. Do your, do what you need to do. They deserve, you don't, you don't deserve to be friends with them anymore if it's their fault, because obviously they're not good people. But if oh. you did something wrong, reflect on it, right? Like become a better person from it or a better buddy. Hey, <laughs> roll credits. <laughs> um. <laughs> See, I guess it kind of depends how you interpret lost. Yeah. Uh, if they just walk out of your life, then yes. If they die, that's a different story. Oh, I didn't even think about it that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's why I would say no, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, that's why I yeah, said I'll give yourself time to grieve. They have more yeah. of a negative Nelly thinking that they just said, you know what? I won't be in your life anymore. I'm Bye. Yeah, and it happens. Yeah, that does happen. People don't stay friends forever. I mean, no. especially like you're in high school. I guarantee you're like gonna know ninety percent of your high school friends, like afterwards. Well, not guarantee you, most of them. <laughs> <laughs> bad example for this podcast. Very, <laughs> very <laughs> bad. <laughs> Good. This podcast. Is <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of people from high school I don't talk to anymore. Yeah, but we've known each other for twenty two years. We have. <laughs> that is largely due to our parents, but... <laughs> hey, if it works. It, that's true. Basically siblings at this point. Yeah. True. 
<laughs> well, when you're at the when you're at the other person's like sister's wedding, or... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. when you almost get infected because of the things that happen, an infection in your broken arm because of the things that right. happen at that wedding. <laughs> What? Wait, what? They oh. almost got infected from breaking so, the Is this the dancing story? Yeah, it's the dancing story. That's when okay. that's when my uh the pin in my arm got pushed down on and when I went and got the cast taken off, they were like, Oh yeah, this is be- like this would have been bad if you left that for another week. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. I know you've gotten a bloody nose on my staircase before from falling down it. And or like I managed, rushing up it. Yeah, and the, I also remember that that was just after you'd gotten new carpet in your living room. Was that my fault? Did I, like, hit you in the nose or something on the way up? Nah, I think, I, I think it just happened. Did you fall up okay. the stairs? Yes. Oh, um, you, dude, dude, can we just, like, talk about falling upstairs real quick? <laughs> I, went out, I, hate, I hate falling upstairs. It's, like... It's embarrassing. <laughs> like, honestly... Why do we do it? Why do we fall upstairs? What happens if I break? We're going that? too fast. That's that's it. We're just <laughs> too much speed. I would much rather fall upstairs than downstairs. I just it hurts less, but exactly. it's more embarrassing. It hurts less, right. and I don't worry that like I because I God what was it? This past winter, I fell down the stairs at my parents' house and like scraped up my back, and it hurt. like I was worried I was Oof. about to like. Just momentum-wise, there was... So there was the staircase, like, two feet of room, and an end table. I was worried I was going to crash into the end table. Yeah, that's not a good fall. <laughs> you, you just keep the... going. When you fall down the stairs, you just have to pretend like you're sledding. You got... You go, <laughs> you, you go, you slip, and then you have to go into sledding position, alright? Ass first, ass only. It's like a bumpy <laughs> sled ride, all right. Like you might hurt your butt a little bit, but like you're at least at least you're having fun going down, right? <laughs> like you're just <laughs> put your hands in the air, no, wave them like you just don't care, and crash, it's crash, and scene. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the bloody nose, new carpet. I, I, the thing I remember about that is you had the new carpet in your living room. Managed to I dripped like three drops of blood on the stairs, skipped all of the new carpet, and started dripping again in your kitchen. That was impressive. Don't know how I did it, but I did. You're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I was as a kid. I got a lot of bloody noses. Our next question: How do you tell who someone is with a mask on? Further details: I seriously cannot tell who anybody is with a mask. How do people do it? Well, my first question is, is it Halloween? <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> if it is, then that's fine. No one can tell. If they're referring to the current pandemic, you've had a year to figure this out. <laughs> Why are you outside? Why are you around people where you have to tell who somebody is? You should. <laughs> There's a pandemic going on. No, but like, I get it. I'm at college right now. Like, yeah. Mainly kidding. <laughs> Mainly. I, I, Mainly. I'm not kidding. There's some truth. <laughs> like, well, why, like, why are you trying to figure it out? Like, just because you're at college, that you should be, like, yeah, that, that you should know your what your friends look like you with a mask on, right? Like, how, yeah. how don't you? You know? should, but literally, the like, back in September, I stopped on campus to get my books, and there was a table with some people at it, and I'm walking up to the thing, I... Everybody I knew had graduated already. I'm in grad school. I'm not going to see anybody. And I'm walking up to the building and someone's like, oh, hey, RJ. And I'm like, hey, you. (laughs) That I don't recognize. But you also went into that with the expectation of not seeing anyone you would know. Yeah. And like once I got closer and like luckily somebody else, like some other student like walked up and like, hey, Da, 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 what are we doing with this? And I was like, oh, this person. Yes, I know this person. <laughs> I mean, it could be a Skylar situation where they just remember your name for no good reason besides wanting to know your name. And then two years later, he could come up to you and be like, hello, said person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Some people are just good at that. Yeah. Uh, I, guess, I guess there is something to like the name and face combination that gets thrown off by the mask. Yeah. But also, I like, guess, like, 
I, I went to a store once um, where just because I was moving back down to Madison and my friend's sister was there and she recognized me. And I was like, who? I, I literally said, who the hell are you? <laughs> and then she pulled down her mask. She's like, I'm your friend's sister. And I'm like, oh, I've seen you like three times in the last three years. Like, I'm not going to remember <laughs> what your face looks like. What? <laughs> you look different <laughs> every time I see you. <laughs> like, what is like? <laughs> yeah. What do you want from me? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, um. I guess just practice. I don't know. Yeah, get good. Take somebody's picture, cover up the lower half of their face, and see if you can still tell who it is. That's what you do. You pull up Facebook, pull up their profile, and with a Sharpie, just draw a mask over their face. Yeah. With a Sharpie on your computer screen. Yeah. That way, every <laughs> time you pull up a profile to practice, it'll be there. Right. Work yeah. smarter, not harder. <laughs> Maybe, also, I guess, some advice. If, if you're having this issue, maybe you already have that issue all the time. Maybe you have prosopognosia, where you can't recognize people's faces ever. Mm. Maybe that's the case. Go see a doctor. <laughs> uh, see a do- yeah, I think that's the final one. Go see a doctor. You need help. I think that can apply to um, every question asked on this show. <laughs> Go, see- <laughs> Go, Go see, see a, doctor. a doctor. You need help. <laughs> some, a doctor, a therapist, one of the two. It seems like you have some issues. <laughs> it's, never, it's never a bad time to ask for help. Unless you don't need advice, in which case, come to us. <laughs> you aren't getting it here. <laughs> um, speaking of getting help and doctors, our next question is, if someone accidentally breaks your finger, do they owe you an apology even though it was an accident? Okay, I saw you post this one, and I was like, how do you accidentally break someone's finger? Very carefully. <laughs> what happened? Uh, All right. I mean, you, you step on it, you close the car door on it. So you there's drop a, a brick on it. There's a game on Steam. I don't know if you guys have seen this, where it's just two hands fist bumping, and the buttons control what fingers are out. And the goal is to keep like the fists bumping and throw out like finger combinations. But if you the fingers are like not clenched by the time the hands go to fist bump again, the fingers break off. Oh, yeah. And the goal is to like be the last one with fingers. I've never heard of this game. Never. What incentivizes you to throw out the finger signs? You get points. Okay. It's like, what if I just don't? (laughs) So, you were doing that for real, and uh, you you threw out your finger sign, and you fist bumped, and he just smashed his fist right into your finger and broke it. Your finger just shattered. Like glass. (laughs) It fell off, too. There we go. It's, you've got that one disease where you're brittle bones. <laughs> Every day I wake up. Bones My skin is made of paper. My bones are made of glass. <laughs> I take a step and I just fall apart. Like a <laughs> <laughs> uh, Um, I do think they owe you an apology. Yeah. I mean... It, it, <laughs> I yeah. Mean, <laughs> Wait, was an okay, okay, I just realized like... that this question was actually asking. It. Did they just like laugh it off? There's like, ah, I... <laughs> <laughs> if you broke your finger, you dumb bitch. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Get better whoa, fingers. Man. Don't you think you, I deserve an apology? You broke my finger. No, <laughs> <That's> well, <nerd. laughs> Wait, yes, yeah, they should apologize. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Wasn't me. I didn't do it. I, you, you. <laughs> Not you on the ground. Wasn't me. Did, the, like, did this person just say that was an accident and just walk away? Yeah. Like I, that's what I want to know. Like, how don't you just go? Oops, sorry. After, oh, right? like that was an oh, accident. That was an accident. <laughs> the, the and, smash your hand in the car door and look you dead in the eye. It was an accident and walk away. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't think it was an accident anymore. If they didn't apologize, I don't think it was an accident. I think you should possibly refer to uh, our first question here. Just lost my best friend. And, uh, <laughs> maybe Brief. maybe you lose your best friend in this situation. <laughs> Get a bounty hunter on it. Hunt him down. Force oh him no. Dog. Good dog. Yeah. Are you in Hawaii? Call dog. Dog. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it's a solution. Supposed. How's dog doing these days? 
I can't alive imagine still? he's doing great. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm good. Now, now I gotta know. Dog the bounty hunter. Here we go. How's dog doing? Or is uh, he in his I'm dog days? Um, How is dog the bounty hunter doing? <laughs> Top result on Google. Um, he's but, engaged. Congratulations to dog the wait, bounty he was hunter. Married though. Wait, is he? Wait, did he divorce his one girl? He, he was engaged as of May fifth, twenty twenty. Oh, Beth just died. Oh, oh no. Wait, he's oh, sixty eight. Throat cancer. Poor Beth. Man, I I, I think I need to get a beer for that one. Pour one out. For Beth. She was like the backbone of the show. <laughs> His name is Dwayne Chapman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwayne yeah. Chapman. <laughs> Man. Dwayne Doug the Bounty Hunter Chapman. I love this. <laughs> I love this whole reinvention he did. I'm just like, I don't want to be Dwayne anymore. I'm going to be cool. <laughs> What's up with every, everyone's name? With, the, with Dwayne. You have The Rock. Now you have, you have the dog. You have... You have Dog, you have The Rock. I mean, that's the two I can think of, but, like... I think it's a problem with the name itself of, like... Dwayne is just a nerd name. I'm sorry. <laughs> to be fair, The Rock went, it went... It started as Dwayne, and then went to The Rock, and then changed it to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's because <laughs> like, he, is... he is a nerd, but he was The Rock, and after being The Rock, he couldn't undo being The Rock. Speaking of The Rock, RJ... <laughs> Uh, I I have found a a, a new reason to rock today. Uh, Tanner sent me a I think it was technically a TikTok. I don't know, man. I don't go on TikTok, so I have no idea if it's a TikTok or not. But someone's like, oh, Dwayne, you you weak. You 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 probably can't even take a shot at tequila without making a face. Like, but you can't get out of here. Uh-oh. So he responded with him slamming a whole bottle of tequila. What? <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> I love Dwayne. Oh my and he God, ended it Dwayne. with dropping the bottle and saying, still the people's champ, baby. That's how he ended it. <laughs> <laughs> he had to have a medical team on site. I love Dwayne. I love the Dwayne. The man has so no much. fat on his body. It must have gone straight to his liver. He's still a big guy. I mean, yeah, but... I don't think fat's what slows it down. And I it think helps. It's- Muscle probably helps too. <laughs> he's a champ. He's he's the people's champ. Don't so me. yeah, if you uh, break your finger, go drinking with Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> with Dwayne. <laughs> Our next question: What did she mean? I'm working with a girl on project. And she added a section to our project and wrote me an email. That section she added is just her opinion, so feel free to delete it. Means don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't touch it. Don't you dare change a thing about it. In fact, you might actually want to add to it. I'm going to change my answer. Add to it with a big capital letters. This is fact. <laughs> You'll get an A. It is written. <laughs> it is not law. As someone with a degree <laughs> in teaching, you'll get an A. Oh, jeez. <laughs> At, at worst, an A minus. I I think she uh, she meant that she added a section to the project, and then uh, if if uh, you don't feel that it's relevant, feel free to delete it. No, it's too simple. That makes <laughs> sense. Can't be re- can't be true. <laughs> hmm. There must be an ulterior motive. <laughs> How much does this girl care about this project? Apparently enough to add in an extra section you didn't need. Yep. <laughs> I'm a little curious about the, the scope here. Like, like, is it just another PowerPoint slide? <laughs> is it, like, new requirements? It's actually an extra six pages on an essay that didn't... That was just an addition to the PowerPoint. You didn't actually need an essay, but they added one anyways. On your half-page essay. <laughs> I, th- I think we're missing <laughs> yeah. something here, guys. I think we're missing something. This guy really worried about this what this girl thinks right true it's it is a guy this gentleman um he's like, well, I'm working with a girl um i would assume it says nowhere that there is a guy asking this question but just the way it's worded i am working with a girl i don't think a girl would say i am working 
Like, I just, I just don't see that. I just don't see a girl saying that. It's like they're very being very specific. Why why can't they be just I'm working with someone, right? Mm. Like mm. Yeah, but I could see myself if I was working with a guy writing I was working with a guy on a project. I I I, I can anyway. Never, anyway. anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. Whether it be a girl or a guy, it doesn't matter. There's obviously some alter they, they care a lot about There's this, some tension right? here. There's some tension. There's some tension. I think I think she might and or he he or she might be interested in this lady, right? Like some mm. form of interest here. I think I think that's why he's so worried. In this, now, now, dude, did you agree possible. with the opinion? In this context, it, it, taking this as the premise, here is my advice: cut ties, <laughs> <laughs> accomplish the project, and move on. Take the F on the project. Just quit out right now. No, no, don't quit. Finish the project. Get the grade. And cut ties with this person. Never talk to them again. You don't need them. Self improvement is the only improvement. Okay, did you agree with their opinion though? No. If you don't agree with that payment, then dude, she's not for you. But you don't even know what the opinion didn't. is. Might want to might want to slide in there. Ask what her if, out for. What if the opinion is puppies are the worst and we should kill all dogs? I, I asked if he agreed with it or not. If he agrees with it, they share the same opinion. There's some. <sighs> Fair. Obvious connection there. I guess. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're evil and bad people. They do share a connection, though. <laughs> yeah. Evil people deserve love too, RJ. Do they? <laughs> Everyone deserves love. Sure. <laughs> you can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, don't ask out people you're partners with on projects. At until least not after until the project. after the project after is over. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's free game open market. And if they say no, respect it. Yes. Uh, what's probably going to be our last question for this evening. Is this a stupid tattoo? Uh, the question asker, I want to get a people's lives don't end when they die. It ends when they lose faith. I think it's cool and has an important meaning, but I just want to know if it's cringe, question mark. I think you misread that question. Cool. I think it's cool. cool land land. Has, <laughs> I, I think it's cool. Land has an important meaning. Land does have an important meaning. But I just want to know if it's cringe. So, sorry, listeners. <laughs> no, land is, land is kind of cringe, let's be honest. Oh, no. Team Michael for <laughs> life, baby. Um, yeah. Down with Team Magma, no. Um, I don't. I don't think it's cringe. I mean, it kind of depends how you lay it out. Because if it's just those words in a big block, I think you could do it better. Yeah. Also, where are you putting it? Because if it's like right on your chest, eh, or like but, on your stomach, I, I can see this yeah. as maybe being a back tattoo. Back tattoo. Yeah, a tramp stamp of it. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Like, the oh. the phrase itself is fine. Like all tattoos, it's Placement the presentation matters. of it, I think. Some, I feel like it's a little long. Yeah. Could, why, why don't you just shorten it to people's lives and when they lose faith? I think you lose something there. Yeah, maybe. I think you need the whole phrase. You need the whole meat and potato. If you're missing the potatoes, it's just not... Right. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> My answer is no. Not cringe. Go and do it, but maybe get some help laying it out if you're not sure. My yeah. answer can be cringe. Don't let it be cringe. <laughs> you have the power. <laughs> you know, I think I think there's something there to that. Uh, my my final answer is consult your tattoo artist on this because they know more than you, and be someone that would have this as a tattoo, not someone that wants to have this as a tattoo going back to our conversation like last week on or maybe it was two weeks ago of like affectations and like if you're getting this as a tattoo it's permanent mostly and like you need to be the per like this just needs to be a part of you not like hey look at this look at this aren't i cool it's fair all right i got one question before we we sign off here very yeah. important all right john rj yeah if you had to eat a Pokemon that is not 
obvious, like food, like it's not food. Ooh. What Pokemon would it be? Top of the head, right now, go. Okay. First one you think of. First one I thought of was actually Sandshrew, followed quickly by <laughs> Tentacool. You would eat a Sandshrew? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, my first thought as to why is because they've got that card candy coating with the <laughs> <laughs> center. I assume you wouldn't eat the shell. No, I just, t- it'd be like a, it'd be, oh, like, I think there's like um, a, a style of egg where you have to like tap the top of the egg with the spoon and crack it open and then you eat it. It'd be like that. You think a sand shrew would eat like that where you just tap a sand shrew? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, like, Actually, thinking more about, like, the preparation of the Sandshrew, absolutely not. It would not work like that at all. The closest you would get would be, like, seafood due to the shell, etc. However, actually more like a combination seafood and, um, rabbit, I would think. But you asked for my first response, first thoughts off the top of my head, no filter, and those were them. That, that is, that is literally what I asked for, because guess what? That's, that's all that matters. John, what was yours? Uh, my first one was, like, Grimer. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Wait, would you just die from eating a grimer? If it were the poison sludge that it normally grimer. is. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like a ditto, I don't know. <laughs> just a I'm trying to think of something ditto. outside of Kanto. Um yeah, it's can't fried Joltic. Ride Joltik. Mm. That sounds all right, actually. You know, nice, nice little static to your bite there. Like, what about you, Alex? What are you eating? Yeah, yeah. The, so I heard this question, and my first thought was Dunsparce. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the one where my head went to. Uh, I'm thinking um, that would be kind of like a lobster, where like with the claw, the tail would be like the claw, where you break it off and then suck out the meat. You know, that would be interesting. I just know Dunsparce is a bigger boy than people realize. <laughs> How big is Dunsparce? And, um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll look it up just so I don't like. You're making me think of like drinking a shuckle right now. Yeah, that sounds really. They are filled with berry juice. Mm. <laughs> they, do, they do carry berry juice. They make it. Like, I can't be that wrong. Dunsparce is 411. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's bigger than Charizard. Big boy. <laughs> Only he's 30 31 pounds. pounds. <laughs> he's <Yeah>. very flat. <laughs> okay, wait. Land when they snake. say height, do they mean length? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a snake. It's still very light. Crobats are huge too. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Charizards are only five six. Is that crazy? I'm bigger than a Charizard. <laughs> yeah. I'm taller than Charizard. I could too. fight a Charizard. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I could fight one. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll fight it. I'd fight a Charizard. It's only got four moves. What's it's gonna do? I can just punch it. All Love right, to hear the vote of confidence. Just <laughs> <laughs> punch the Charizard. As it as it breeds fire on you. <laughs> Don't no, it won't. No, it can't, that's illegal and can't do <laughs> yeah. that. But yeah, tentacle. I'm a tentacle. Like I don't know. I feel like 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 you were saying, John. Tentacle. It's juicy and like just suck it up with a straw. Mm. I feel like tentacle is kind of obvious, though, right? Like, I mean, it's calamari. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, so I like, guess. I think that, that... Hmm. Eat a milotic. Yeah. What what would a cast form taste like? Oh, that's an interesting cotton candy. Hmm. But what if it was sunny out, RJ? Uh, chili cotton, cotton candy. candy. Warm. <laughs> oh, wait, chili. Yeah. yeah, it's spicy. It's hot. What are the different forms? Like rain, sun, ice, snow, or yeah, snow. ice. Snow is probably a better way to put it. And then normal. And then normal? There's only four? Yeah, that's it. Oh. Alright. Hmm. That was... I liked that ending question. That was good. I like that. <laughs> is who is... Uh, I don't know, man. I, I just keep thinking about eating Dunn's first now in my free... It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> the forbidden fruit. The Dude, forbidden land I, snake. I just don't imagine... It can't be that bad, right? Like... Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's so light that it makes me think there's not really there, much there to eat. It'd be like eating a snake. Yeah, but people eat snake. I know. Hmm. Alright, let's wrap this up. 
Alex and John, thank you for joining this week. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah it was a good time. Been thank you. Uh, thank you to the band Problem of Interest for letting us use the song Living in the Moment off the album Cross Off Yesterday. They're on iTunes and Spotify. Reportedly have some new music coming out, so stay tuned on that. I think they actually dropped their latest single in the last week. Go check it out. Thank you. Uh, you can find us on iTunes and Spotify. Go share and like and uh, follow and all what have you. Do the downloads. Download the episode. Force all your family and friends to listen to it. Tell everybody you know about it. Shout it from the rooftops. We'll get an impromptu song and dance musical number going from people like advertising for us. Uh, you can find us on our social medias. Otherwise, if you don't want to like shout from the rooftops, we're on Facebook, Better Buddies. Twitter, at Better Budcast. Use the hashtag Better Buddies when you tweet about the show. And our Gmail, BetterBuddiesCast at gmail.com. Send us questions you may have. Uh, icebreaker questions you want us to answer. Fan art, hate art, fan mail, and hate mail. Um, or, like, a declaration of love or war. Uh, if we get a hundred thousand... Love and war. Love and war, love, even. Love and war, yeah. Love war. Work. If we get a hundred downloads on a single episode, we'll do a gum review. Where a we gum uh, review? Yeah, we'll buy gum. some different types of uh, chewing gum and review them. <laughs> oh, gum! I Not thought firearms. Gum. I was like, oh, Not wait, firearms. Wait, no, wait. no, that's too expensive for our tastes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a pricey meal. Unlike Wrigley Juicy Fruit Gum, indeed, the juiciest <laughs> of fruits. Very juicy. Very, very juicy. And last but not least, be a better buddy. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's a fun time. Oh. Let's uh, let's start this week's episode. We're at a good good ten minutes of having not yeah. started. <laughs> <laughs> It happens. Better late oh. than never, am I right? I just leave call right now. You know what? <laughs> oh, he gone. Oh, there. Goodbye. <laughs> Welcome back. I suppose I'm here. You're trapped right. here for the moment. The next hour of your life is mine. Oh. That's a long time. <laughs> that is a long time. <laughs> That's a long... What are you, a mayfly? I don't think so. <laughs>